Now, Darby is really stupid, malevolent, and rich. So it will surprise none of you to discover in a future life, he'll end up in Congress. But this is my story, not his. With the trust fund babies under control, it's time to turn my attention to their sworn enemies, those greaseball kids. So, you must be pretty proud of yourself. You taught those rich scum a lesson. They're rich, weak bullies. It was easy. They picked a fight with me, and I showed them who was boss. And Gary got them to pick that fight, so maybe you'll show him as well. Gary's an even bigger problem. He'll have to wait. Hey! What's this throwback want? A haircut? A nice strong man to cuddle up to? Who knows? Jimmy Hopkins, right? My friend Johnny needs your help. Then tell your friend Johnny to come and ask for it. Nobody tells Johnny anything. Johnny Vincent does the telling. Well, he doesn't tell me what to do. Now beat it, greaseball. You're causing an oil slick. I said he needs your help, man. Do I look like a charity service? You're gonna pay for this. What is wrong with this place? Everyone here either needs help, wants to beat you up, or both. Well, you know who Johnny Vincent is, though, don't you? No, and I don't care. He's head of the greaser clique. Get friendly with him, and he can help you get to Gary. Yeah, maybe. I'll tell you something, Pete. This place blows. Tell me about it. Kids don't know how ignorant you are. There's so many schemes and plans within plans. Anyways, shut up and get to work. <laughs> My work here is done. Welcome back, everybody. I hope none of you forgot your cameras.
work to change your life at the time. Straight up awesome. All sorted. So much stuff just lying around. Great. Train again. It's all about really hurting your opponent. Can't they have this? Only, excuse me. Hello, miss. Oh, there you are, Jimmy. I'll make this quick. Your mom has sent you a Christmas present. Just great. I know. You are very lucky. Your mom is so nice. You may go now.
Hey, 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 kid. You got a light? No. Okay, well, then you want to sit on my knee? You want to kick in the balls? Uh, I'm sorry, kid. I'm just a little down on my luck. I mean, one year I'm living in Greenland with a posse of elves and some talking reindeer. <laughs> and the next, I'm getting treated like a drunken fool, thrown out of the North Pole and put to <laughs> work in a dump of a town like this. Okay, man, now you're kind of creeping me out. Why, why, why does everyone say that to me? Whoa, I can't imagine. I mean, the other kids was just abusing me, calling me a pervert, throwing snowballs at me. You just like them, little red-haired bully. Hold on, which kids? Those ones over there, the tough kids, damn it. Not the rich kids from the fancy school like you. The Molly Connolly and Marie's boys like you. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> they keep attacking me, man. I can't take it no more. What happens to the old day? I miss Prancer. Oh, what? He was always my favorite. Not Rudolph. No. He was a prima donna. Oh. <laughs> I'm falling apart here. Hey, listen, man. Where are these kids? Over there somewhere. Thanks, man. You're all right. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, whoa! Well, good luck with those reindeer, you maniac. <laughs> <laughs>